Greetings, this is the voice of Dylan Flynn. Salutations, mortals. This is the voice of Trevor Ikrath. And you're listening to an averagely spooky episode of Wordle with Fiends. Or should I say Blood Curdle with Fiends? Sorry, this is still a little weird. The show where two fiends curdle your blood. Hey, let's not call it yet. This episode may end up being uh, the spookiest one yet, for all we know. I... I Assume that the spookiest episode we have, like whatever spooky thing happens on, it's going to be completely unexpected, therefore resulting in maximum spookage. Ever since the incident, sometimes I get these visions and I just have this feeling that today is going to be a averagely spooky episode. Yeah, ever since the incident, I haven't been able to play the piano anymore, but you don't see me whining about it. (laughs) Today is Tuesday, October 18th, 2022, and Trevor and I are about to attempt to solve Wordle number 486. So this is your warning to turn back now if you've not yet done today's puzzle, as there will be spoilers ahead. 486, I'm going first. That means I'm going to uh, reach into our little wizard's cap, pull out. One of our spooky words that we've been playing all darn month. Uh, Let's see what's still in here, huh? Give it a good rattle. Maybe there's something good in there. I'm going to play kind of a less spooky one, uh, just because you've been doing the same thing. You know, I do think it's a good idea to save the spookier, spookier ones for the end of the month. Yeah, backload it. Yeah. Backload it like a Prince album. Exactly. This one, it's got an uncommon letter in it, but I'm still going to play it because, hey, who knows? Okay. Well, not bad returns. I got one yellow letter and two green letters for playing the word guys. And not the type of fellas that you'd love to hang out with. I love my guys. I'm talking about the kind of guys you put on and wear when maybe you're dressing up for a Halloween party. Sure. G-U-I-S-E. Could be just something as simple as a satin mask that you hold over your eyes with a little stick. Sure, or a satin robe that you discard before uh before beckoning your guest over to your clam shaped bed yeah all right so one yellow two greens one yellow two greens pretty good what are you gonna make with that oh this is kind of funny i should play this huh we like to have a laugh here so if you've got a funny word i would recommend you throw that one out there wow holy shit okay huh i have three yellow letters and one green letter Mm. i played the word shite s-h-i-t-e That's right. Hey, I knew it was a funny word, but I was expecting you to keep it clean for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I just kind of took your poopy play from the other day and kind (laughs) of tossed it over the pond. I spent the rest of that day thinking about how I played the word poopy and just laughing out loud to myself. I found your stuff. Yeah. But it turned out that your S was green and your E was yellow. Sorry, what did you say your returns were? Three yellows and a green. Okay, so you found something else, too. That's right. And it's either that H or the T. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking of the word uh, heist. Heist. But you would have had to get, I guess, uh, four yellows and one green for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't look like anything to me. What are you, a character on Westworld? <laughs> huh, yeah. Uh, I think I, th- I think I see the word. Really? I think I do. All I'm seeing is heist. Did you do anything Texas-y today or yesterday? No, I've just been working, man. Yesterday, I went to Best Buy and bought a plug for an external monitor and a keyboard. Is that particularly Texan? An external monitor is a little Texas-y, right? You know, they do say everything is bigger in Texas. And hey, my appraisal reports and Excel files are bigger on that external monitor than they are on my laptop. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to try this one. No. No. Damn. For a hot second there, I thought it was going to be a word that you famously really went out on a limb for. Oh. Ignoring a much more likely option. And I think you did end up losing losing the round because of it. I played the word deist. Right. And I got three green letters and one yellow letter. I remember that day. I remember that day. Yeah. I think the word was heist, right? believe so, yeah, and I played Deist. Damn, am I about to lose another 
game in October? I'm here to tell you, you just lost another game in October. Jesus. I just got five green letters round two. Yeah. Yeah. All right. E blank IST. I don't know if I know this word. Oh, uh, you probably never heard it before. Is there some word that's like derived from like epistolary, like e pissed? You've heard this word before. I have? Yeah, don't worry. Okay. I was just fucking with you. It's an easy word? Yeah, you know this word. Oh, damn. I have heard that word before. Yeah, you know this word. <laughs> damn, I do this thing every day. I just got five green letters for playing the word exist. Hey, put an S up top and now you're talking. <laughs> sure, I, I, I guess. You could be talking to us uh, anytime you want by sending us an email at wordallfriends at gmail.com. You could also find the show on TikTok or Twitter by searching Wordle Friends, and you can find the full-length program on the podcasting platform of your choice or YouTube by searching Wordle with Friends. But for now, and for always, I've been Dylan Flynn. I'm the biggest freaking loser, Trevor Ickrath, and I'll see you back here tomorrow on the show where friend is a five-letter word. This has been a production of The Lighthouse Keepers Company. Culture Illuminated.